Hey beauties, my name is Noria and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm doing something I never thought I would be doing, but I'm doing a plant tour haul, whatever. Um, we'll say it's a haul because these were bought pretty much in a span of a short time. So yeah, uh, beginning of 2020, I had one plant. It was, I want to say it was a Jade Pothos. I say I want to say because um, I kind of messed up on her a little bit when I went to repot her and it just, long story short, had to do some clippings and just tried to save her that way. But the original mother plants is gone, unfortunately. But in the span between end of May and pretty much all the way through June, I have acquired all the plants you will be seeing in this video and um, no regrets. <laughs> absolutely no regrets uh they make me so so happy they're putting me somewhat in a routine and it's kind of keeping me on my toes because i did mess up on a few where i didn't fully research them before i got them so i had to troubleshoot after the fact but other than that everything has been just so so good i love my little mini forest um so being new plant mommy, um, I'm kind of doing this video, one, to show off my babies because what new mama doesn't like to show off her babies, but also as a video diary to me, um, I would love if all these plants made it to next year, but realistically speaking and this fact that I am learning, um, I don't expect them to. I'm hoping at least 85% will survive and I will be like happy with that. But yeah, that's pretty much what all this video is. It's kind of show up my plant babies and so I can kind of go through and see my progress throughout the year. So I definitely plan on doing these videos um, periodically, not so much showing you what I have because hopefully that won't change too much anymore. I've spent way too much on plants in the course of a month, but um as a newbie trying to do like care and then if my window even works for this and just the little things I come into along the way. So yeah, I'm gonna start with the plant that is not right up here. So this, we're actually in my bedroom. I have a northeast facing window. So that kind of played into a part with the plants I chose. However, downstairs, which is we call the dungeon because there's literally no lights down there, um, no natural lights anyway, just because even on my screen, my window, there's a screen on there that diffuses some of the lights, so have to deal with that. So currently playing a little light roulette with the only plant we have downstairs, I decided to just put this one down here, see if it survives before I try to add any other low light plants, but Right here we have my philodendron Brazil and we had a little issues when we first got her but uh, we're doing good now. Had to change up the soil so she actually dries out but she's looking so so good. So good. I'm gonna need to water her soon but yeah this is the only plant we have downstairs so far. So good and um, yeah. I don't know what's going on with this little buddy, but mm, tis what it is. Again, she's our little experiment, so praying she survives, but if she doesn't, we, I, I know not to put any plants down here. So again, new, new newbie in the plant world, so uh, I think I got most of the names down, but I will probably mess some up, probably pronounce a few of them wrong, but you know what? It's all good. It is all good. So I have no real rhyme way how I was gonna do this. So I guess I'll just start with the ones that are kind of like on my makeshift uh, storage. So starting off, I have a Monastera uh, Deliciosa. And look at her, she has a new leaf coming in. Um, this one and another one were mailed in. So I don't know really what happened. Let's see if you get it. What happened to that leaf a little bit if you guys can see but it's a new leaf coming in has a little bit brown on it but it's doing pretty well it's on a totem pole moss pole but not really because this thing really doesn't have any aerial roots but it was more so it didn't just fan out everywhere which is kind of what i didn't want being in the space that it's in so just lightly tied enough to hold most of them in place but yeah 
that is my monastera so next i literally bought this one like two days ago this is the sansevieria moonshine if i'm not mistaken i just love snake plants i bought initially one probably the end of may and i've just been falling in love ever since so this is that <laughs> so yeah i just love like the kind of contrast because all my other plants for the most part are like that deep deep green and i love some snake plants and i just love the color of this one so my next plant is the golden pothos so i love vining plants i love vining plants i love vining plants so we're gonna try to do a twofer with this one we're gonna try to trail down and climb up so this one actually does have aerial roots um so as it goes up we're gonna try to continue it to grow same thing with the monastera um just a little leaf issue the leaf not me a little e leaf issue when i first got it so i ended up having to just rip that off and a couple things here but other than that it's been doing very very well i'm well aware that i probably need to water it but i think i can get away with like another day and a half so that is what that is what i'm going to do so yeah um we have actually have two aloes i don't know the different i mean obviously they look different but i'm like i don't know this type i don't i don't know this one was a gift this one came in a succulent subscription box and i just love how they look and i've actually used a few of these already one they were kind of damaged just from travel but then two I actually needed some aloe I didn't have that one yet so I was like you know we're just gonna make this one symmetric I end up taking a little bit off of there but I love aloes um I have another snake this is the mm, I can't remember the name I'll have all the names down below I, I do not remember the name but I know it's the Sansevierian the mini I just don't remember what that is called but this is probably one of my first snake plants and when I first got her these two were not here this is probably like a month's worth of growth and there's still a shoot coming in in the middle and like I'm excited I just love how that looks um, I got a couple air plants I guess I'll show you those next but I don't know the real name for these but I have that I have this baby which I still haven't named if we have another red one and literally I just have this row of plants repurposed on top of an old uh, fish tank so yeah it's kind of my display case right now and I'm all 100% for it um, I have two more air plants where are they oh. And this one right here and I love that all of them are growing so this one and then one more in my it just kind of worked out that it fit in my little dragon candle holder but that is my fifth a succulent that came again from that uh, subscription box I'll have that down below uh, we are testing succulents out because me and succulents don't get along we're trying again plus I don't even know if my room gives enough light for this so this is kind of like a yeah so my next one I was so happy to find this this is a string of bananas and I've had them for about two weeks and I don't know if you guys can already see my camera focuses all that new growth that's coming in I know they said these grow fast but I was not expecting that fast like I'm so excited I again I love trailing plants so I'm loving that this is growing and then I'll probably end up moving it higher later but I love it I love it um back here nothing too special uh part of the pothos that I cut I guess we'll say it was a golden pothos not a jade poth pothos um some issues and I then I put one of my uh what is this one called? Syndapsis uh, in there just to see what would happen mainly because when I got my pot this one was kind of hanging off so I was like you know we're just gonna put all the clippings together. Um, so far they're alive. <laughs> I don't um, 
yeah, they're alive and we're gonna try to keep them alive. So I'll update you as I progress. Big stink. But Sansevarian uh, Zelenica, I think that's what this one is. Bought this one also online, came in perfect condition. I repotted it. It was in a four inch, it's now in a six, mainly because when I was checking the roots, not only was it pushing against the plastic, but it also had like a baby growing on the side. Right now I just have some rocks in here to hopefully keep it still. Um, when I water it again in a few days, I'll take those out and it should be fine. But this is my first taller snake. Yay. Um, next, peace lily. Um, we're fighting right now. Oh, oh, I mean, I guess it's a fight, but she's totally winning. I'm like, again, learning what she likes, what she doesn't. I think the humidity in my room is also an issue too, hence why this is there. Um, so it's a struggle bus and I pray she makes it, but at the same time, I got some black tips, I got some yellow leaves. I don't know, guys, what do I do with peace lilies? I'm like, ah, we're trying, we're trying. The main leaves look good. It's this one's inside or along the edges that are messing but i still got some new growth so i mean she's not dead right right so we have a marble queen i was about to say golden nope we have a marble queen here just a little baby she's in a that's not a four that's probably a five inch pot but no yeah i think she's in a three inch pot she's in a three inch pot and she's doing good another one i probably need to water in a few days but I see some new growth come in. She did have a little leaf damage, but I bought this um, at Lowe's. So it's like, you know what? Four bucks, so it's not bad. And I love potos, especially since they're hard to kill. Um, another succulent. Uh, variation aloe, but I can't remember the name. I'll put it underneath, but I just got this one. Not me. A plant <laughs> just got this one in so yeah again I'm gonna try try with succulents we're gonna try but if I end up killing any or all of these we are never doing succulents again <laughs> okay I didn't think about this all right we're just gonna do this one I'll come back to that this is my Dracaena Janet Craig Oh, we had some issues, as you guys can probably see by, like, the tips and the side and the brown and the thing. We had some issues. Um, I'll actually do another video going into a little bit more detail on my troublesome <laughs> plants. But, yeah, I didn't think she was going to survive. But a month and a half later, not a month and a half, a month later, she's thriving. She's pushing out new growth. That's all I wanted. Oh, this is actually a gift from my friend. Um, just look at that Sansa area. Ah, and then I love that it has one, two, three, four shoots. So maybe when those get a little bigger, I'll try to separate. I don't know, but I love how it looks full, so I might not. I just, um, I want to say it's probably also a Zelenica, but I am not, I don't know. I, I, I just don't know. So, but yeah. Next up is the Syngonium Glow Glow. I think that's what it was on the site. Um, so this is an arrowhead. And we've got some new growth going in. I just love how it looks. Eventually, from what I read, it says this will eventually vine as well. So catching my theme. <laughs> but yeah, so this is she. I absolutely... Come on. I just love the pattern on the leaves. Like, I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, Next, I have a nerve plant, and I for the life of me cannot remember the scientific name, but also, um, I don't really know what's going on with her, so it's like, she's doing okay. Like, the top is definitely growing, and there is new growth, but then I have, like, either crispy leaves or dying leaves underneath so I think I had it initially too close to the window so I moved it back I mean it's still growing I definitely still see new growth on the top and the sides I think it's just too much for the leaves 
So I moved her further over, hoping, hoping, but it is what it is. I'm learning. Well, you saw the clipping earlier. This is my Sydaptis satin. Uh, wait, no, Sydaptis pictus exotica. Maybe I got that right. I don't know, but yeah, this is my uh, silver satin pothos and. Again, another one I kind of had a few issues with when I first got her. Uh, we are dealing with that right now. I don't want to cut it because it's still a strong leaf. But I'm like just waiting for it to die before I cut it off. But she's doing so much better now. And I just love how those leaves look. That, oh, I just love that. I just love that so much. So, so happy that she's thriving now. Starting to hang over and vine. So... <laughs> excited i found another syngonium this is the white butterfly again i just love the shape of the leaves come on i just love the shape of the leaves and i just love that color variation and just ah this looks so good when it vines so i i just yeah <laughs> So, only thing the tag said was philodendron green. Um, I want to say it's just the regular heart leaf philodendron. Um, at least from what I found in the pictures, I just ended up buying two because they looked good and they were already like starting to hang over and vine. I am excited for these babies to grow. Look at them. 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 But yeah, I think these are in four inch pots. Yeah, and they'll probably live there for a little bit, so. So not gonna lie, this next plant is kind of what started it all. I saw it, and then for that whole month, I couldn't get my hand on it. So, and, uh, you know, to tie me over, I started buying all the other ones, but I finally got it. My, well, my friend got it for me for my birthday. I am so, so happy to have it, and I cannot wait for it to get bigger and vine. This is my philodendron mycan, and I just love, 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 love the texture and the color and all the things and stop focusing on me and focus on the plant. <laughs> like, oh, I wish you guys could feel this. It's just, it's so beautiful. I already love that it's starting to trail. I have new growth coming in. Sadly, another one that I had to fight a little bit with, but so happy for this plant and happy to have this plant and just all the things all the things guys all the things but yeah that is currently all the plants I have right now um I say right now as I have already ordered or I did order four others but they just won't be here until probably mid to late July which I'm totally okay with uh, but yeah, I just wanted to go ahead and have this video up because one I didn't know how long those were gonna take to get here And I wanted to go ahead and like start documenting my plant journey and Again, just seeing how I take care of the plants how well I can um, keep them alive and watch them grow and All the things but yeah, I'll do another video soon about like Troubleshooting especially as a beginner there was just definitely some things that I was just not ready for or did not really know and or had to like troubleshoot on the fly so I will definitely do that video I'll do another update when I get those other plants in and yeah if you guys have any you know if you got hit by the plant bug during uh stay home and what are your plant babies? I want to know. I want to know. Are any of you plant babies, plant mamas, plant mamas, plant mamas or daddies? And I just want to know. Comment down below. Let me know what plants you have. Do you have any of these? And if you saw something on my plants that you kind of know what's up with, please let me know. Uh, this is definitely new territory for me. And I just want my babies to succeed. So that's all I have for you guys this week. Um, I probably will be doing these videos every other week just to try to keep somewhat normal scheduling on my randomness of a channel but yeah so that is pretty much it until next time guys bye